so what, Donald Trump said. Some really interesting information that's coming out of that legal brief from Jack Smith yesterday where Donald Trump basically said, so what? When Mike Pence was was moved to safety and Donald Trump was told of that, so what, he says. I mean, we're, you're getting a really good picture of who this guy is, right? I mean, you really have to do more than hold your nose, I think, at this stage to vote for Donald Trump. And I want to talk about another little tidbit that came out of that. And ultimately, the threat to democracy continues, folks. And I, and I want to underpin this whole message today with a video that, that came out something that just came uh, to the surface with J.D. Vance. And and basically, the, the summary of what I want to get across today is you, you don't have a country if you don't have democracy, if you can't respect democracy and you can't respect the institution of democracy. And and that, by God, is the, the election process and the way that we vote. I mean, that is sacred to democracy. And video just came out of J.D. Vance basically just throwing that out. I mean, and like I said, you can't have a country if you if you can't respect the voting process. But before we get there, so this is interesting. CNN requested an interview with Melania Trump. Her book publisher then said, okay, and then sent along a bill for $250,000. Of course, that's not going to happen. Melania, again, today is coming out with a little, another little news tidbit, she is pro-choice, evidently, on abortion. She's got a little video. You can listen to it. Ron Filipkowski's got that out there. She, she is pro-choice on abortion. Unfortunately, that hasn't made it to her husband yet. But um, interesting, Melania is out there again. And this is on the heels of her coming out with that little necklace, right? That little $175 gold-plated necklace. I mean, these people, they're, they're interesting to me. Because you've you've got this little situation where she's trying to do something good, but they're ultimately still sucked in by the almighty dollar. I mean that that is the 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 guiding principle of what they do, folks, is the almighty dollar. And it's it's guided Donald Trump to where he is today, and it undoubtedly is guiding Melania. But good to hear anyway. Good to hear anyway that she is pro choice on abortion. Here's another little tidbit that came out, folks. Have a look at this. So this is the intellectualist on X has come out with this little bit of information that was done by Gallup, a Gallup poll that was done. And it's showing that the trend with Republicans is toward the declined perceived importance of childhood vaccination. Again, a, a Gallup poll, highly respected. It's showing that um, 26% evidently, of Republicans feel that uh, it's very important to get your child vaccinated. I mean, versus 63%, which to me is still stunning that on the Democratic side, 63, only 63% 63 of the people uh, that are Democrats think that it's important. Get your child vaccinated, right? I mean, where's this country going, really? And here's another little tidbit, folks, that is interesting. A school district in Pennsylvania approved nearly $9,000 again, public school district here, to cut windows into the gender identity student bathroom so passerbys can look inside. I don't even know what to say about this. I mean, it's it's the way that they, they threaten LGBTQ students. It's what they do. It's, it's a new level of weird, but it's how they make them feel intimidated. It, in another way, intimidation is is the way that a lot of these Republicans roll. You know, down in Texas, they, they intimidate doctors so that, by God, if you do an abortion, even though we say that you can under certain circumstances, you can expect to find yourself in court. It's intimidation, folks. And it just kind of scares me that, you know, people are still, I, I hear about undecided voters. Undecided how? I mean, what more can I tell you? You know, you've got a president that basically resorted to crime according to the latest release by Jack Smith, to stay in office. And if you read through some of that, folks, I mean, it's absolutely gobsmacking what's inside of that. Here's a tidbit that came out from that filing. And this is coming to us on X from Republicans Against Trump. And it says, according to the filing, Giuliani, who was leading Trump's legal team, texted the wrong number when he was attempting to pressure a GOP leader in Michigan to use the state legislature to overturn valid election results. So he says this, 
So I need you to pass a joint resolution for the Michigan legislature that states that the election is in dispute. There's an ongoing investigation by the legislature and the electors sent by Governor Whitmer are not the official electors of the state of Michigan and do not fall within the safe harbor deadline of December 8th under Michigan law. Giuliani wrote in a text message on December 7th. Prosecutors say the message failed to go through. Why? Because he typed in the wrong number. I mean, brainiacs, these people are not brainiacs. I mean, it's so simple what they're trying to do, but yet we have undecided voters. Really. I mean, trying to steal an election that they lost, right? And it came out in that filing that Donald Trump actually admitted secretly that he lost by a whisker or something like that. So, you know, never mind that. Just go out, create chaos. He is the president of chaos, folks. I mean, it's it's absolutely amazing to me that, like I said, I keep hammering this, that we still have undecided voters. So here is some video from the good liars that I want to show you. And again, this is the, they always want to keep in their back pocket that the election process is fraudulent, you know, despite the fact that it's it's been the bedrock of our country, you know, forever, folks. But here's the video that surfaced of J.D. Vance. Have a listen to this. Who, who won the 2020 election? Could you just answer, did, did Donald Trump win yes or no? Yes. He did win. Yep. So will you, will you concede, will you concede? If your opponent gets, if your opponent gets more votes, will you concede? I really feel bad for you, man. I, I, I just want to know, if, you're, if your opponent gets more votes, will you concede? Can't answer it. Who, who won the 20? I mean, that's amazing to me, folks. If your candidate gets simply, gets more votes, if the opposition candidate, right, Kamala Harris, Tim Walls, if they get more votes than Donald Trump, will you concede? Can't answer the question. I, I don't understand how, we, like I say, it's a theme today. How can you have undecided voters when you've got someone that just can't honor the bedrock of this country? And folks, you know, in summary here, I just want to say, and I've jotted some things down here, you know, as a nation, we are where we are because at certain turning points in America's history, good people did the right thing. You've got Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. You've got LG Bay, L LBJ's. Medicare and Medicaid. You've got FDR's New Deal plan. And you've got Senator John McCain giving the thumbs up to Obamacare at a critical moment. And I'd like to, to kind of bookend all of that. You've got Vice President Pence certifying the 2020 election, doing the right thing. We didn't become a great nation here, folks, because a bad guy did all the wrong things. We are a great nation because good people did the right things. And I, I can't help but just kind of notice it. Here stands Mike Pence, more reviled by Republicans than he is by Democrats. I think you could argue that. A man who reached out to his friend Dan Quayle when he was trying to figure out what to do and Dan Quayle, of all people, advised him to do the right thing. So just a thought. You know, I think that when we're thinking about who to vote for here, folks, just keep in mind that as a nation, we are where we are because good people have done the right things and made the right decision. That's why we are who we are today, folks. I'll look for you next time.